In our last lesson, we talked about the 180 twist. Twists are one of three main building blocks that will help make up most of the tricks on this list. Today, we're going to talk about the next piece of the puzzle, the 180 unispin. Okay, so last week, as part of your homework, I assigned the seat in front no footer. The reason for that is that a 180 unispin or a one spin is just not that much different from a no footer. Really, it's not that much different. So basically, you're doing a trick you already know how to do, except this time your hands have a little job to do. And it's really, it's not even that hard of a job. Let's talk about it. You're gonna hold the seat with your hands together and then you're gonna turn it a half circle toward your front foot. During the spin, you're gonna take the hand that was in back off the seat and you're going to land with your hands together in the middle. You should spend some time just standing with your unicycle practicing this exact motion. This is how you're gonna train your hands to do their job. You might have seen some people do one spins like this with their hands on either side of the seat, but I don't really think that's the best idea. That technique might help you land one spins a little quicker, but doing it this way will set you up for when we get into bigger spins later on down the line. You want to set yourself up early with some good habits here. Okay, so now it's time for me to teach you the secret for how I've landed every single trick I've ever done. Before I really go for a trick, I like to throw it and land with my back foot on the crank and my other foot on the ground right by the pedal. So you're going to try this with your one spins. Hop in place, do your no footer, throw the spin like you just practiced, and land with your back foot on the crank and your front foot right next to the pedal, and that should help you build a little bit of confidence before it's time to fully commit. For a lot of riders, going for the one spin can be kind of scary, but there's really only one way it can go wrong. If you land with all of your weight on your back pedal and your front shin behind your front pedal, okay, it's not that bad and it's super easy to avoid. So to make sure this doesn't happen, all you have to do is slam your feet in against the cranks, just like we did with the no footers. It can also help to jump forward a little bit just to make sure your weight stays over top of the wheel. And there you have it. That's your first 180 unispin in the books. You've just opened a ton of new doors for yourself, including one we're going to talk about right now. Allow me to introduce the unispin's better looking cousin, the outspin. If you look closely, you'll see that I spin these away from my front foot, the opposite direction I do my seat in front spins. That'll make more sense when we get into flips, but for now you just want to be perfectly balanced, as all things should be. So if you got big enough hands, you can wrap your thumb around that thing or you can point your thumb back at yourself and kind of flatten your fingers across the bottom of your handle. This trick is fundamentally pretty similar to the regular one spin. So you'll want to start by hopping in place and then you can just go for it. Catch with both hands seat in front just like you did with the one spin. You should also land with both feet down on the cranks. Then to reset yourself, you can just do a regular seat in front unispin like you just learned. And you can keep practicing that until you get jacked forearms and quadriceps. Well, you could, but the whole point of learning outspins is so that we can do a unispin rolling. That is before we learn to ride seat in front, because right now this is going to be pretty awkward. So to build confidence, you can once again throw the outspin, but land with a foot on the ground. But when you're ready, it's just time to go for it. Ride up nice and slow, do your outspin, land with your feet on the cranks, and then when you land it, you can 180 unispin to return to normal. That brings us to the last leg of our one spin adventure. It's called the in spin. You're going to start seat in front, do a one spin and land seat in this time. For this one, you're gonna wanna start seat backward with your back hand holding the handle. Then you can place your front hand right on the middle of the seat. This is going to feel almost like a normal one spin, except this time you're gonna let go with your front hand at the very last second and guide the seat underneath you with the hand on the handle. Now you've got all the tools you need to start working on a brand new line. You're gonna start with your out spin, then you're going to ride one rev seat in front, bounce for a little bit, land an in-spin, and then roll out. Of course, just like with the 180, rev a fakie, and half cab, your goal here is going to be to eliminate all of those hops. In the meantime, you're getting some really good practice on your out-spin and in-spin consistency. Which brings me conveniently to your first homework assignment, land the line without any hops. Next up, I want you to try combining your 180 twist with your 180 unispin. Start seat in front, do a 180, and a one spin at the same time. That's called a small spin. You can also start seat backward and try to land seat in. You should try the same trick from seat in. It's called a varial. Notice how I kind of pivot into this a little bit. You can fudge it to make it easier at first. Finally, you can try 180 body varials, which is exactly like a 180 unispin, except the only thing that doesn't move is the unicycle. Your body will move 180 degrees around the outside of the wheel. Once again, you can try the same thing from seat in and fudge it a little bit if you have to. Just turn in a little bit before you jump to make the rotation a bit smaller, and that way it's not as hard to practice. 
Okay, in our next lesson, we'll cover the last little piece of this puzzle, and then you can start combining tricks to get super technical. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you guys then. Bye.